Enix. Um, okay, but now he's retreating. Maybe that's the best choice. <coughs> um, yeah, so nice attack move here by the top team. Oh, but Yggdrasil is hunted by those uh, Corsairs. Now getting stormed, losing more health points. Oh, now he has to drop. He has to drop both units, kind of. And it goes down with both heroes inside. Um, <coughs> yeah, that was close here. Um, because some uh, maybe he uh, tried to drop it here, but if you're um, above the edge, then you can't drop your units. I I figured it out someone uh, some when when I try to drop a river above a tree or above that, and then you click and it does not get unloaded. Um, and now a shield for purple. So well that attack didn't do anything, so to speak. You can see the attack was uh, kind of brilliant and. But um, yeah, health points weren't um, attacked, and now a shield, and it just looks like before. But anyway, a uh, nice attack, and Brown has um, 100k hero. Um, let's see, Blue is also around. Brown is standing around there quite some time. Blue is not moving in now. Brown is selecting a combo, five Toms and an Yggdrasil. And by the way, um, that is a combo. I think um, most of the players agreed to um, to weaken that combo in the next next version to get rid of the Yggdrasil and also of one Tom <coughs> because it just enables players to camp. It is a really strong. It can be really strong. It's of course no uh, auto win uh, using the, uh, these units, but uh, anyway. <coughs> Now the bottom team is pushing in uh, with a lot of units and cruel sidestorms here on both sides. Let's see, uh, a lot of units for the bottom team. Um, yeah, some uh, units left here for the top one. I think they know about that combo now. And, um, yeah, well, Nexus situation is still um, no shield now for the uh, top team's Nexus. Bottom team's Nexus is as good as new, um, <coughs> because when there was the chance um, to get rid of some health points, um, the bottom team defended too well, and we have now um, 100k for red and 155k for teal. I wonder what teal went for. He went for shield, and yeah, well, and the other one, a dark arcan. A dark arcan around now here for teal and a red went for a combo uh, three allens and a vessel. Oh, and orange immediately spotting that Yggdrasil. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Yggdrasil. What am I talking about? That dark arcan gets teleported back and the dark arcan. Oh, what is it doing? What is it doing now? Teleporting back and uh, it changes direction. I don't know what happened here and it goes down. Might have been a misclick or something. I don't know. That looked quite weird. Um, <coughs> and now um, we have more wraiths around. Maybe now let's see if he's going to use it or tries to get the vessel down. No, he's. Uh, you never know. Yeah, he tries to attack the vessel. And uh, now, uh, actually, now focusing on the high templars. The high templars storming that drop here performed by Brown. By the way, oh, nice size storm catching quite some tanks. Only three tanks left. And that's also a way to stop a drop if you are able, if you already have some high templars around. And um <coughs> <coughs> oh, the top team is actually putting a lot of pressure on the bottom team now, because the bottom team has to. Um, yeah, well, is still around here with the tanks. You can see drop over um, suicide spot. Only tanks, reverse goliaths, and the next shield for the bottom team is gone now. Um, but uh, all um, once again, um, uh, Orange going for shield with his 100k hero selector and the other one. Let's see what he's going for. He could wait until Blue has 100k, but I think he's going for Dark Ark in here. <coughs> okay. Oh, the Queen broods one of the Allens, um, but already scouts around to kill it. That was that was pretty close here. And the scouts together with the observer. I don't know what. Um, I think oh, Teal might be trying to get rid of these Toms here. 
Oh, there are the scouts. Oh, but the Tom sniped that observer. That was well done. No, the, the scouts have to go away. But no, they're focusing on that Yggdrasil here. <coughs> and the Yggdrasil's health points start melting. The Tom's killing those scouts. It's a lot of points for Brown, though. Oh, man. And the Yggdrasil still lives here with 60 health points. Dark Archon mm, got quite some hits here, by the way. And got spotted. Uh, Blue has 100k hero selectors. Uh, let's see what he's going for. Mm, while Teal is going for the Toms again and once again loses the Observer. And But this time is... Uh, I think the Yggdrasil died. Someone killed it. Uh, no, no, no. It's still alive. It's still alive. Um... <coughs> Oh, and the Zeratul got some hits by the Reavers here. The Zeratul is a 100k K hero selector of um, blue. Um, and let's see, the Dark Archon is still around and it is ready to mind control. Um, together with the Yggdrasil, that could be some devastating counter here. Mm, let's see, okay, the top team, if you are, before you push back, um, it's always like you have to select units and get out of these small corridors here. You have to get out and push the other team back before you get pinned, nailed down at your spawn area, because then your units can just spawn here and you can get stormed. And that's uh, not a situation you want to, <laughs> you want to have. Mm. Oh, the Vessel of Red looks like it is going to cast the EMP on that Nexus, but the Dark Archon is around and it mind controls the vessel. That was unlucky and immediately trying and will now cast EMP on the ve on the Nexus of the top team. Brilliant move, um, tricksing the Dark Archon, but um, I think the vessel, yeah, has way enough energy, also could have irradiated that Sarah tool here. Um, Okay, anyway, uh, is that a normal Dragoon? Okay, now that's the state of the game where so much is happening and it's really hard to follow and keep um, keep up with it. Another combo for Brown going for an Arbiter, a Queen and Yggdrasil. So he will most probably be uh, trying to um, do a tank drop. <coughs> um, not enough tanks, I think, this time. Red is around quite some race. Might be... Uh, I don't know. He will try to kill the vessel, I think. Oh, what was that? I don't know. I don't know if that was an infested... I don't know. Um, by the way, the Zeratul is still alive. No more shield for the top team's Nexus. Then the vessel is still alive, but needs only quite some hits to, to die. Um, now, Matrix on the Dark Arcan. Not too many units for the bottom team to uh, protect here. The top team is pushing in. Um, uh, Storm kills the Hello immediately. Um, Zeratul is still around. The Dark Arcan has way enough energy to mind control a second time, but um, it lacks um, it lacks um, an observer now without the Hello. He can't even see uh, on the high grounds here. Now he has an observer and now he mind controls one of the um, uh, Allens uh, and he's even able to escape uh, with the Dark Arcan and um, the Zeratul is still around. Um, <coughs> a lot of <laughs> scouts here. Let's see which Allen wins. Yeah, of course, the yeah, Orange's Allen was supported by those wraiths. Um, but uh, yeah, the tanks now kill it. Um, Teal has 100. Uh, oh, we are already 225k heroes selected. Immediately going for shield. Um, now let's see. Yeah, but the bottom team has a lot of heroes right now, and they're pretty much safe. I think um, what you need to do in such a situation, well, versus five toms, that's it's just too hard. Um, but um, if it wasn't for those toms, then you kind of have to push, and then maybe wait until the other team pushes back. Meanwhile, uh, Teal goes also for five toms. One Yggdrasil, by the way. <coughs> um, when the other team pushes back, one of the players has to uh, already die, and um, then while they push back, they, he prepares wraiths and then flies around. Oh, the Toms are chasing that vessel, and yeah, I think yeah, it goes down. Uh, you could see the mini ping on the minimap, maybe. Um, so, yeah, Toms are hunters, but also great defenders here. Oh, a tank drop by uh, Brown, um, catching the top team a bit by surprise here, but the Toms will deal with those tanks, although they will get some hits here. 
Um, oh, a lot of race. Oh, and the um, uh, Zeratul gets um, spotted and got some hits here. Um, now let's see. Our observer gets sniped, so the Yggdrasil has to come into game here. Oh, the Wraiths, oh, they're chasing that uh, Zeratul down, and it goes down. And I think, um, oh, okay, Teal had to kill the tanks here, but... Um, Anyway, he should have, or oh, now he is getting quite some points here, sniping that observer. He should have um, sniped that observer sooner, so the Serator would have been safe. There's also a nice um, tactic um, uh, just to, you know, when you have Serator around, what, what does the other team need to spot it? Either shield, then you can't do anything, you can just um, save it and protect it, or... Um, they need um, they need observer and if you are for example around with air only and keep killing the observers so you have an observer and air and you keep killing the observer 